any direction that you want, hands and knees. And then take the hands about one hand's length further forward. And take your knees just a slight hair wider than what they are, just kind of on their own. Now exhale, slowly sit back towards your heels. Think about trying to keep your hands where they are for as long as you can. And take a couple of breaths, just inching your hips back further and further. Stretching from your underarm to your back, to your sitting bones, to your hamstrings. Nice deep inhalations, let the folds of the elbows work to turn in and the intention to turn up, just to broaden the back. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Really try to pay attention to how your body feels, how it's moving, what's not moving. Inhale, slowly start to rise. Bring your shoulders as far forward of your wrist. Don't sink your belly, try to keep it strong. And then again, sit back as far as you can. Exhale deeply. Again, look for that length. It's not just gonna immediately happen. Wiggle your glutes around, take a breath or two. And now on the next inhalation, rise up. This time, bend your elbows so that the folds of your elbows turn forward, so you're bending and kind of tucking your elbows in. And then start to glide your pelvis forward and just think about sinking it towards the floor. We're not trying to press up for height, we're just setting the pelvis down and forward, just enough to feel a little bit of stretch. You'll probably feel it more in your lower back than in the front of your body. And then as though you're being pulled up through your tailbone, bring your hips back, draw it back towards the heels again, and take about two to three breaths. Nice deep inhalation. Really focus on the release of the exhalation. Nice deep inhalation. Focus on the relaxing of the exhalation. Inhale, rise up again, bend the elbows, tuck the elbows in. Step the pelvis down slow. So feel free to bend the elbows as much as you need to. Now just think about bringing the head a little bit up, just a little higher. Hold that, palms press firmly. Nice deep breath and just go as far as you can. Let the elbows bend as deeply as you need to. And on the next exhale, being pulled back, hooked by the tailbone, draw it back. Wiggle the hips back, try to maximize the space that's available. Really lengthen through the underarm, arms are stretching. Now infuse your breath through your body. <clears throat> One more breath. Inhale, rise. This time, just rise to tabletop. Slide your hands back under your shoulders, your knees back under your hips. Right leg out to the right, sole of the foot grounds to the floor, toes are forward, back is broad, belly is picked up. Exhale, slowly sit back towards the heel behind you, keeping the right foot flat to the floor the best that you can. Just go as far as you can. And then inhale, rise up. As you rise up, flex the foot and lift the leg. And then lower it back down, ground the foot, Exhale, sit back. Inhale, rise up. Lift the leg at that last second, and then set it back down. Exhale. So we're gonna do this about three more times. So when you're about 75% of the way up, lift the leg, just pause for a moment, and then exhale. That breath is calm. There's a natural pause after the inhalation that you're just taking advantage of here, feeding right into your practice. One more, you're gonna lift and stay lifted. 
hold it. Now let's pulse the leg 10 times. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Take the leg, swing it all the way around to the left. Rest on the outer edge of the foot. Now press with your right arm and curl towards your extended stretching leg. Just trying to open up the right side of the body. It doesn't have to be a big stretch or an intense one. Now inhale, unwind the leg all the way back over. Plant the sole of the foot to the floor, nice long spine. Open your left arm to the left, so that's the opposite arm. Hold it. Think about keeping a super long spine, watch the rounding. Now exhale, thread your needle. Come down and through, rest towards the side of the head the best that you can. Use the base hands, gently press the torso open. There's that upper back and shoulders that you may be discovering are a little bit more restrictive. On your next inhale, arm time throws up towards the sky. Take the top arm and just let it drop back. So we're encouraging that upper chest and a little bit more of a rib cage rotation. Rule of thumb is no matter what you do, you have to still be able to breathe. Really follow the edge of the exhalation to fall into any restriction and giving your body some time to melt a little bit. Exhale, top arm plants back to the ground. Take your bottom arm and bring it all the way up to the sky the best that you can. Hold it. Exhale, lower that arm down. Tuck the leg in. Downward facing dog exhale. Spread the fingertips wide. Walk your dog. Make peace with your calves here this morning. Use your breath. Awaken the areas in the body that still feel a little stiff, a little rigid. drop back to tabletop position. Left leg out to the left, ground the sole of the foot to the floor. So we'll do six times. So dropping back towards the heel, exhale just nice and slow. There's that inner abductor stretch. Follow your body, follow your breath. Inhale, rise. And now when you rise, you're gonna lift up the extended leg and just pause for just two, maybe three seconds, and then drop the foot down and exhale, return. The key is, can I sink my breath with the movement so it doesn't feel rigid? Two more. Back one, we're going to lift and stay lifted. Pressing long through the arms. Here we go, 10 pulses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drop the foot and anchor it. Right arm out to the right, so arm towards me. Long spine. Exhale, thread your needle down and through. Let's go as far as you can. Give your spine a few moments for breath. Give your rib cage a few breaths to find space. So use the volume of the inhalation, use the intention of the inhale, breathing in, standing into the lungs to help you make some room in those sticky tight areas, those parts where around the ribs, just not moving. Now if you'd like to, top arm can come up and just drop it back, encouraging the chest to open as long as you can stay calm with your breath.
lower the top arm back to the floor. Inhale, open the bottom arm all the way up to the sky. A little bit more of a challenging rotation. Looking up, forward or down. Exhale, lower that arm down. Bring the back knee and curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Noticing the areas of the body that just feel like they're not rubbing smoothly next to each other. So it's like one part is double-sided tape and the other side doesn't really want to be. Notice your mental relationship towards those areas of the body that are stick, stuck tight. Don't have as much fluidity as you'd like. Is it forceful? Is it aggression? Or can you try to use your breath and go, okay, what am I feeling? What does this feel like right now? This is the moment, this is what I get. Can I move through this with an intention of trying to create space, even though it may not happen exactly the way I want it today? Now on the next inhale, drop your knees to the floor. Curl the toes under, bend the elbows, look up, cow's pose. Exhale, slide your hands forward, sit back towards your heels, devotional. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Find your breathing here. 